And welcome everyone. This one is the real one. We now have the sound. I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV and I'm joined today with Peter from HWBot as well as Fabio from Tecmundo. Olá pessoal, aqui é o Fabio do Tecmundo e eu tô aqui do outro lado do com o Trufman da Overclocking TV e o Peter da HWBot e a gente vai fazer hoje o segundo dia de streaming diretamente da Campus Party. Perfect. And today we are at the HWBot World Tour Latin America, and that's the first stop here at the campus party in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What happened today, Peter? Today was the first day where we do the amateur workshop. So from in the morning, from 10.15 a.m. until in the evening, 9.40 uh, p.m., we'll have a workshop. Pretty much all, all day. The, pretty much all day, yes. Então, é, hoje foi o primeiro dia da, de eventos realmente da HWBot na Campus Party. Nesse primeiro dia teve é, aulas gratuitas, né, que foram dadas para o pessoal mais iniciante, para os amadores, a Liga de Amadores, e que são chamados de workshops. Nesses workshops o pessoal começou diretamente é, ali das, 9, das 10 horas da manhã e vai até as 9h40 da noite. E... O pessoal tem aprendido bastante durante o dia, ainda está rolando esse, essa, essas aulas. E é mais ou menos isso. Vamos ver o que o Peter tem a dizer. So, we had the workshop starting officially today. So, what did we do yesterday? We were basically installing everything. Yeah, so yesterday we installed all the workshop PCs as well as uh, try to, you know, put out a couple of fires that always come in, uh, you always have a little bit of issues when you organize a big event like this. So that's what we did yesterday. <laughs> é, então, hoje foi o início dos workshops, das aulas que eles deram para os amadores, mas ontem o evento já estava rolando, né? Porém, como é um grande evento, tinha que preparar todas as máquinas e preparar todos os equipamentos também para transmissão. O dia de ontem foi mais para organizar esses problemas técnicos que sempre acontecem no começo de um grande evento. So before going a little bit more in detail about what we uh, did today um, with all the guys and uh, the, the feedback from actually the people in the workshop, we want to be sure that uh, we, um, we have all the information and we want to let you know that if you have any questions, let us know on the live chat. Bom, ao longo dessa live stream de hoje, a gente vai comentar com detalhes o que aconteceu durante esse dia. É, mas se você tem alguma pergunta, você pode aproveitar o live, o chat aqui do, no Twitch TV e também pode enviar suas perguntas pelo Twitter e pelo Facebook da Overclocking TV com a hashtag HWT2016. And if we will answer all your questions in this show and in tonight's show, the Tech Talk Q&A that we will be doing at 11 p.m. É... <laughs> Algumas perguntas é, talvez serão respondidas durante esse show e as que não forem respondidas serão respondidas no, é, no vídeo que vai ter, na live stream, que vai ter às 11 horas da noite, comentando todas as perguntas que vocês enviarem. So basically what we will do today is this is the opening and then after that we will be uh, streaming live the, the workshop for the amateurs. So if you don't know how to overclock or if you want to know, know more about how to overclock, you can... Uh, stick, stick around with us and we will uh, explain you how to do that. We will do it in Portuguese and in English, uh, right after, one, one after the other. É, então, agora, esse evento de início aqui, a gente vai comentar o que aconteceu durante o dia e também o que vai acontecer a seguir. É, vai ser transmitido em tempo real também um pouco do workshop que o pessoal está fazendo nesse momento. Então, logo após o término dos comentários aqui, vai ser transmitido como é que está lá os procedimentos e se você tem curiosidade nunca fez você pode acompanhar aqui que vai ter um pouco de explicação ao vivo before going too much in detail about what we'll be doing let's uh, uh, thanks our partner so the few partners that we have Peter I'll let you uh, present them so our main partners for the world tour event in Sao Paulo here at Campus Party are Seasonic, Hyperx and Gigabyte who are providing um, the hardware for this event so see Seasonic is providing 760 watt power supplies. Hyperx is providing the DDR3 memory that we need, DDR3 Predator, and Gigabyte is providing a, a bunch of Z97 motherboards. É, então, primeiramente, antes da gente continuar o bate-papo, é, primeiro vamos agradecer aos é, patrocinadores do evento aqui, né? E os patrocinadores para Campus Party são a Cia Sonic, que está providenciando fontes para todas as máquinas, a HyperX, que enviou as memórias, 
e a Gigabyte que está providenciando placas mãe para todos os testes. Então, Peter, just before uh, going, so that's the hardware partner that we have for these events. Uh, there is also the media partner. Yeah, so as a media partner, we have, of, of course, the most important media partner from Brazil, Tech Window. <laughs> um, we also have Overclocking TV, which is a channel that you're you're watching right now. Uh, Overclock.net, one of the largest overclocking forums uh, on the planet, I would say. Uh, and then also one very important partner is, uh, is Computex, which we've uh, already talked about a little bit in last year, uh, la, sorry, yesterday's uh, opening uh, stream. The, the Tetra uh, non-profit organization. Yeah. Well, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Ok, e então para também para aproveitar aqui o momento, a gente vai agradecer os parceiros de transmissão de de mídia, que são o Tecmundo, obviamente. Que a gente está providenciando aí a parte de notícias e de live stream junto ao Overclocking TV. A Overclocking TV que está fazendo esse stream direto da Campus Party. O fórum Overclock.net, que é um dos maiores do mundo. Nesse, nesse segmento, e também a Tetra, que é uma das principais apoiadoras durante todo o evento da HW Tour 2016. Peter, just before the show, what happened? We had to change some of the uh, organization that we had here because there is a huge, actually, storm outside. <laughs> so, as it turns out, um, there's also rain in Brazil, and it was, uh, it was raining quite hard outside, and... Um, For some reason, the spot right above us, there was a little bit, a little stream of water dropping down. So we had to quickly move one of the systems to another side of the table. É, então, e hoje o dia já começou com alguns problemas, porque está chovendo bastante aqui no Brasil. É, em São Paulo está chovendo também. E lá na Campus Party, o que aconteceu? Justamente, exatamente em cima do stand da HWBot, tinha algumas goteiras que estavam caindo em cima de um sistema. Então teve que mudar um monte de de equipamentos de lugar para poder dar continuidade. That, that was actually quite fun to just oh, dim, 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 move it, move it, move it, so we moved everything <laughs> away. Um, let's talk about the amateur. We had a lot of responses for today's uh, workshop. Yeah. So as I as I mentioned before, we start at 10:15 in the morning, and each session can have uh, up to four people, and it lasts for about 40 minutes, and then people move on from the workshop to the competition part. Um, and until 9.40 tonight, every slot was fully booked. That's actually I... quite impressive. Então, o evento de as aulas, os workshops para os amadores, começou às 10 e 15 da manhã. São quatro estações e em cada estação, cada participante pode ficar 40 minutos ali aprendendo sobre overclocking. E durante todo o dia, as quatro estações estavam cheias e já tem é, horários agendados para outros participantes até as 9h40 da noite. E além de fazer essa parte de aula experimental com o hardware, depois o pessoal ainda ia para a parte de competição para tentar fazer o overclocking ao vivo ali funcionar de uma forma ainda mais, mais árdua. Um, Peter, how many people pretty much did we add today uh, at the first batch? Uh, as a first batch, I can't, I can't, ah, let me think, uh, up to, I think 45 something, 45, 50, something like that, yeah. And that was for the first day only? Yeah, uh, actually, we had a pre-registration yesterday, and we had uh, 70 people pre-registered for the workshop in the next two, uh, today and then tomorrow and the day after. É, então, o registro já para participar dos workshops começou ontem. Ontem já teve 70 cadastros de pessoas interessadas. Aí hoje já foram 50 pessoas que passaram pelo stand, mas já tem registro também para os próximos dias, no caso, é, quinta-feira e sexta-feira também vai ter mais workshop e o pessoal vai vai estar tá por lá. We had a lot of different person coming for the workshop. Um, what was the, the feedback you get from the guys? It's uh, it's pretty interesting. Like uh, a lot of the guys are are very keen on learning about overclocking and As, we've, as we know from last year's events, once they get this feeling of competitive overclocking, they want more. And there was a couple of guys, even after they did the qualification, they, they came uh, uh, to talk to us on the side and they asked, how can we train more? É, e, o Peter, <laughs> e o Peter está comentando ali que é engraçado que a, o, o público é bem interessado nessa parte de overclocking. Então, eles vão bem dispostos a aprender 
E após as aulas, é, eles ficam tão interessados que eles querem saber como é que eles podem ter mais aulas e continuar treinando, né? I did actually I enjoyed that the, there's some guys that uh, that's one of the guys that actually did the training this morning in English. Some of them wanted to uh, to have the uh, the training in English and that was quite interesting for us because we don't speak able to explain that. And he says I had no clue whatsoever about overclocking and it turned out that the guy says, Oh yeah, it's quite fun, I want to do more. He says, Okay, you can come back later if you want. É, e o Truffle estava falando agora também de, de que tem gente ali que fala, é, o pessoal fala em português, eles falam em inglês, aí às vezes queriam instruções e tem um pouco de falha na comunicação, mas acabam aprendendo os termos e, e aí quando o pessoal entende o que está que acontecendo, que não é o fim do mundo, não é um bicho de sete cabeças, o pessoal fala, nossa, que divertido, quero aprender mais. So uh, all the guys in the workshop had to, can participate in the small competition after. And uh, there is some of the score online. I'm trying to uh, to get to you the the right uh, the right scoreboard. É, já teve hoje alguma alguma parte de competição entre as pessoas que já treinaram ali e agora o Truffman vai tentar encontrar ali as pontuações para a gente ver o que aconteceu nesse dia. So all the guys had 30 minutes workshop and then 30 minutes uh, they can try on the computer to qualify and we will select the top eight, if I'm right, the top eight people to um, select it for the final after that. É, então, e, é, cada um poderia treinar ali 40 minutos no computador de, de workshop, aprendendo como é que faz overclock e depois tinha mais 30 minutos ainda para tentar bater recorde ou alcançar o, ma o mais alto nível de overclock nas outras máquinas. E aí sim, é, entre os, as pessoas que é, lançaram esses recordes e fizeram essas pontuações das máquinas de testes, é, oito serão selecionados para uma competição final dos amadores. Ok, aí so you can, see, you can see on the screen that there's some of the scores and they are all using the same hardware. É, aqui a gente tem alguma das pontuações e todos estão usando o mesmo hardware. So they're using G3258 CPU from Intel. Of course, that's being powered by a Seasonic PSU. Uh, is that the 650 watts or 750? 760. 760 watts. So 760 uh, watt PSU. And there's, uh, of course, and there's, of course, HyperX memory and SSDs and a gigabyte motherboard for, uh, on the Z97 chipset. É, então, conforme a gente comentou, o pessoal está usando os componentes do, dos, dos parceiros, dos patrocinadores. São as placas-mães da Gigabyte, memórias DDR3 e SSDs da HyperX, as fontes da... Uh, what's, what's the brand of the power supplies? The Seasonic. Seasonic, yes. Então, usando as fontes da Seasonic e os processadores são Intel. Então, todos estão com a mesma configuração para não ficar injusto. This system is actually quite cheap to even uh, acquire, so it's, uh, it's good for people to try out on this and uh, don't have the fear about breaking anything. É, o que ele comentou é que, na verdade, o sistema que eles estão usando ali não é um sistema de alto valor, é um sistema de, de preço razoável, e o pessoal pode tentar ali sem medo, porque também o prejuízo não é tão grande. Então, o que nós temos é que todos os amateurs podem entrar em lá, e isso vai ser no sábado... Sim, no sábado à tarde, começando às 5pm, nós vamos fazer um live stream sobre o final of these amateurs, so we'll take the eight best amateur and we'll make them fight one versus one. É, e aí, conforme dito, os oito melhores classificados nessas, nesses workshops é, vão participar do evento final, uma competição é, na sexta-feira, que vai acontecer às cinco da tarde, e também vai ter streaming ao vivo aqui no canal. That will be fun, and Fabio, you will be here with us to actually comment on the, all that, so that could be uh, followed by all the guys at Tecmundo in Portuguese as well as in English. Yeah, e assim, e o evento de sexta-feira também, vai ter comentários aqui da, do pessoal do Tecmundo, possivelmente eu mesmo estarei aqui, e vai ter também comentários em inglês, então todo mundo vai poder assistir. Perfeito, I think the stream is uh, quite okay for now, we had some uh, small issue before that, and I think we can now um, get an overview about what was happening during the, uh, here at the campus party for today. É, e agora que a gente já conversou um pouco, acho que é hora de ver um videozinho do que, que aconteceu hoje na Campus Party. Find back the, uh, I can't find back my video. Well, Peter, how was your day? <laughs> well, 
I woke up in the morning and I was a bit tired, so I kind of slept in a little bit longer, and then breakfast and uh, coffee, and uh, then uh, we traveled here in the cab. So you know, we uh, we jumped in the cab and then drove along along the road. Sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right. <laughs> Most of the time, just straight ahead, you know. Uh, and then we arrived here, and uh, well, we had to first, you know, show show our badge, like this one here, to the security, because otherwise you're not allowed to go in. And as we moved forward, past the security, towards the venue or the booth area that we have, uh, we oh, True found his uh, found his video. Well, I found <laughs> the video, but not on the, on how I wanted to use it. Let's let's try let's try this. <laughs> Ok, Fabio, você pode translate isso? Ah, tá. tá. É, então, na verdade, o Truffman estava achando o vídeo ali ainda, e aí o Peter ficou comentando como é que foi o dia dele, que ele acordou e tomou café da manhã. E, mas agora foi achado o vídeo, a gente vai, vai ver o vídeo. Ok, então... So, uh, ok, você pode jogar o vídeo, Peter? Ok, está meio que funcionando. Então, o que nós temos é que nós vamos postar o vídeo no YouTube depois. And uh, we were presenting a few stuff about the campus party. So basically, I say that we are here at the campus party for the world tour, and this is what we can see uh, around us in the next few minutes. É, então agora o vídeo aqui a gente só vai comentar um, um pouco por cima do que, que é falado no vídeo. O vídeo completo vai ser postado depois no canal do Overclocking TV. E mas aí no começo ele só está comentando que é o primeiro, é o segundo dia na verdade de campus party e como é que estava a feira. So I do speak a lot, a lot, and a lot. It's actually quite big to uh, see. There were some people dancing. I think that's, well, that's too bad we don't have the sound because the sound is actually quite fun. Why are you point? What are you pointing at? Oh, I was saying that. Uh, oh, there were some TV. There were some consoles. É, e aqui nesse nesse primeiro momento ele estava comentando sobre o pessoal que estava dançando ali os videogames e tal. Yeah, there was some uh, some guy trying to dance, <laughs> but really trying. E there were some people that did actually know how to dance a little bit more. É, é engraçado que a, ele comentou que o pessoal realmente sabia dançar ali e tava todo mundo bem empolgado. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. You know what? I will try to get the video another way because the, you need to have the sound for it at some point. So, Peter, yes. How do you think Brazil is for you? That's your first time here. So, tell us a little bit more about your experience here in Brazil. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. It's not as uh, as much as a culture shock as I thought it was going to be. It's it seems to be very very similar to how to say so southern Europe, with of course the the local quirks. But uh, overall, uh, I'm very very pleased, very positively uh, amused by. Uh, oh, truth is truth is running away. No, I'm very very <laughs> happy to be in, in Brazil. Um, okay. Let, let me translate it. <risos> é, então, aqui é, ele estava comentando sobre como está a experiência dele no Brasil, e ele disse que o choque de cultura não foi tão grande assim, é a primeira vez do Peter no Brasil, e ele falou que ele lembra muito um pouco do sul da Europa ali. É, o pessoal é bem receptivo e até agora as experiências estão bem positivas. People here are super nice. Very friendly, yes, very friendly. Uh, what about the food? We had a Peter, you like... Do you like uh, picanha? Do you like cochinhas? Yeah, absolutely. It's very, very delicious food. Então, ele comentou que eu perguntei sobre a comida e o Peter e o Truffman falaram que gostaram muito da, da picanha e da coxinha aqui do Brasil, que é realmente deliciosa. E really? ca caipirinha? Caipirinha. <laughs> e caipirinha também é muito bom. <laughs> well, they just test, uh, like... Peter and Thibaut, they just tested the regular caipirinha. They didn't test the, uh, you know, the fancy one with all the different fruits inside. The strawberry one, the one that you had. Yeah, the one I had. É, e eu, o principal que eles mais gostaram ali é a de morango, que é mais tradicional, mas que eles não tentaram outras ainda. And uh, yeah, that was actually uh, an adventure for the food. When when Tim and I arrived here uh, in the evening, we had some uh, some food with local Brazilian overclockers. You are not here then, and it was sort of a sort of a buffet where it was uh, more of a, I guess, uh, typical Brazilian food. Very good as well. Oh yeah, I saw the picture in Facebook. <laughs> é, ele comentou que ontem eles tiveram um buffet ali em São Paulo com comida tradicional do Brasil e que a comida é realmente muito boa. 
Except the food, what else do you like about Brazil? That can be PG-14, by the way. <laughs> I would say the general atmosphere is very nice. <laughs> É, ele perguntou o que ele mais gostou no Brasil e o Peter falou que é a atmosfera em geral aqui do país é muito boa. One thing I've noticed about Brazilians is that they're very, very enthusiastic about about a lot of stuff. Like they're very open in terms of uh, if they if you if you ask them, okay, you wanna, for example, do you wanna learn something about overclocking? They are they're all very enthusiastic to join. É, e ele comentou que o pessoal daqui é realmente muito empolgado, muito entusiasta e quer aprender mesmo as coisas. Então é, que nem eles já notaram ali, na parte de hardware, o pessoal que foi ali estava realmente interessado. É uma qualidade bem interessante. Yeah, and in general, also very polite. Like, we, I, we have to shake hands and say, thank you for... Very, very nice, yeah. É, and e, then... todo, e todo mundo que foi ali foi muito educado também, então sempre cumprimentando e agradecendo, então é algo a, a ser notado. And there's also a lot more people than I do expect that uh, speak English and are willing to speak English with us as well. É, e tinha muita gente que, apesar de falar português, já dominava um pouco de inglês também, já queria entrar na conversa em inglês para tentar facilitar o diálogo. I think that's a, that's maybe a big difference uh, compared to when we go to France, where in France people tend to be more proud about that's, their language. Okay, that's coming from a Belgian guy. Come on. <laughs> É, eles estão tirando sarro ali que na França já é meio diferente, que o pessoal é muito mais orgulhoso e quer falar no próprio, na própria língua. But yeah, that's true. Um, here people are more enthusiastic to at least even try to speak with us with some basic word, even if they don't speak English at all. Uh, use some basic word in Portuguese that we can maybe catch up and understand. So yeah. that's actually uh, that's actually quite um, no, it's it's very welcoming. Like people want to, much for so, you yeah. to feel welcome here. Very much so, yeah. É, e o que eles estão comentando é que o pessoal aqui do Brasil, os brasileiros, querem que as pessoas sejam bem recepcionadas, né? Então, o pessoal mesmo que não domine fala uma ou outra palavra e tenta mostrar alguma palavra em português para facilitar essa comunicação. Então, é algo bem agradável para os turistas. Is there anything that um, that we should know about Brazilian, the Brazilian society? Something very important that we may miss or? Well, I don't know. I guess. I guess you're you're doing fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I won't talk about the the bad things because that's not the point. <laughs> but there's always so, bad things in all countries. Yes, there is always bad things. But when you when you are visiting a place, I guess you want to visit the the good place. So you you are you are doing a good job. Uh, uh, the best uh, campus party ever, and the best food, and the best people. So I guess I guess that that that's the deal to you know enjoy all the all the good things in the country. Well, I know you are in São in São Paulo, but if you could, you 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 should have you should go to Rio de Janeiro. And the beaches in Brazil are are very nice. Uh, some of the most famous in in, in the planet. <laughs> we have a a bit of a, I think three days after. Yeah, three the event. days after that. Yeah. So we're planning. Oh, but okay. but for just. You will miss like uh, if you stay here for one more week, then no, you we could. Oh, we miss carnival. <laughs> yes, the carnival, <laughs> the biggest part in Brazil. I've heard there's also something like pre-carnival. People are already starting to celebrate the fact yes, that yes. carnival is coming. In, in a lot of cities, <laughs> there's uh, pre-carnivals uh, every Saturday and Sundays. We do the pre pre-carnivals. And with different types of music, you know, electronic music, samba music, and so on. Along the way to from from our hotel to the campus party here, we uh, we came across a samba stadium, which uh, which I found which I found remarkable. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, people here are are very eclectic. You know, they like all kinds of music. So samba is one of the the biggest types of music in Brazil. But we enjoy we enjoy all kind of music. Okay, that was actually the samba drum was impressive. Okay, I found back the video. Now we have it. You guys will have some sound on the video. I'm not sure that Fabio, uh, you will have the sound. So let's uh, let's watch this uh, this quick video and we can comment on it right after. Então a gente vai reproduzir o vídeo agora e depois a gente comenta porque agora o vídeo tem som. Hey 
Hey guys, it's Proofman from Overclocking TV and as you can see we are here at the campus party in Brazil in Sao Paulo. We are here for the HWBOT World Tour 2016. That's the first stop in Latin America ever and that's the first stop of the 2016 season. We want to give you a little bit around, a look around of the of the campus party because this event is quite huge. There's a lot of conferences, there's a lot of tech talk, there's a lot of people just coming here to play games as a LAN party or even do some stuff and like managing some some guys like the makers to do uh, to do things around. So we're gonna just walk around and see what we can uh, when we can find. So come here. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff happening. So here's like the they call that the free free play area. Uh, there's like consoles for people to try out. There's uh, different PlayStation. There's also some uh, some PC right there, maybe for uh, a LAN party later on or some uh, gaming tournament that will happen. Uh, I'm not sure right now what I, I could just go try and dance, but uh, I'm pretty bad at that, so not quite sure. So let's see something else. Yeah, at some point we just don't say anything on the video. <laughs> As you can see, guys, there's a lot of space here and a lot of stuff happening, and that's good because they have some coach as well, like pretty much everywhere on the uh, on the area, and this is right in the middle of the event. So all around us, you can see that there's some uh, people playing games and uh, and and having some fun, doing doing things. Some people just came here to just enjoy the week of uh, you know having some fun with friends. Yeah, kind of like commentary level 99. <laughs> that was actually a lot of things that we could see there. You heard the heard guys, the guys singing? singing? The no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite awful, and I was feeling too bad for the guys next, uh, no, right next to it that was actually doing a, a presentation. So they're also doing some electrical stuff. Yeah. So that we saw a lot of people with the uh, Arduino or even the um, the Intel one, the Intel Edison. Ta da! He's repairing his coffee. Yeah, it's as the campus party, all the <laughs> organizers provide a LAN cable for everyone. Everyone. But, sometimes but sometimes you want to have Wi-Fi. And some of the guys, with so many Wi-Fi around here, that you need to have the most powerful one you can have. And I think these guys quite much won for today. <laughs> you cannot really miss them. Maximum power! It is um, it's tough <laughs> for my friend Hugo, but he he's sleeping there. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a project he made for showing some informations like dollar and. Um, Compare don't allow us to to get a. Uh,
find yourself. It's not that hard. So, on uh, your right, it's so I think we. This is it, guys, for the first right overview of the campus. We had some uh, we had some issue with the with the live. It seems to to have cut. So let us know on the live chat if the live stream is back. Yeah. So that was a few overview about what we ca we could have seen at the campus party. That was a quite uh, quite long video. Guys, I hope that we are back because on our side it's okay. We can we still. We still are streaming, so maybe there's uh, like a cut between us and the Twitch server that uh, didn't allow you to be. To see. Oh yeah, we are back live. Um, so guys, that was a quick overview. A quick that was a sum up overview of what what we saw today here at the campus party in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The campus the uh, the hashtag for the campus party is like hashtag CPBR9. So that's uh, how you can find some information on social media. I think that's uh, that's gonna be okay for today. There's one thing I want to uh, let you guys know that you can win some awesome prizes if you go to overclocking-tv.com forward slash raffle and you can enter there to win a Seasonic PSU a P1000 power supply. Uh, some, wow, awesome. Uh, I, uh, HyperX SSD, so 120 gig each and some uh, limited edition HW Bot thermal flask. Então, só lembrando aí que vai ter o sorteio de alguns prêmios dos patrocinadores. É, fonte da Cia Sonic, modelo P1000, é, SSD da HyperX e também garrafinhas térmicas de colecionador da HWBot. Para entrar nessa, nesse sorteio, você só precisa acessar overclocking-tv.com barra raffle, R-A-F-F-L-E. Ok, I think we still have some issue with the uh, with the stream, so we will uh, end that up here for uh, this show. We'll go, we'll check uh, what's happening, and we'll come back in about 35, uh, 35, 40 minutes for the amateur workshop in Portuguese. So, guys, if you want to uh, check out what's going on in here, like how to overclock and how we do train uh, all the people, stay with us, stay around on the live. We will cut the live and come back in about 30 minutes. Então esse foi o evento de início de hoje, mas daqui 30 ou 40 minutos é, o evento vai voltar ao vivo com a parte de workshop que vocês vão poder conferir como é que tá os overclockings lá na Campus Party. Until then you can always find us on the social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube looking for Overclocking TV and I guess you can find them as well for Tecmundo on pretty much the same media. É, e também você pode encontrar o, a gente nas redes sociais, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, é, barra Overclocking TV, e se for o Tecmundo, é barra Tecmundo, e por, por hoje é só, muito obrigado. Perfect, and if you have any question, you can always ask us with the hashtag HWT2016, and we'll answer that later on tonight at 11pm local time. E só lembrando que quem tiver pergunta pode mandar ali no Twitch, ou nas redes sociais usando a hashtag HWT2016, que todas as perguntas serão respondidas hoje à noite às 11 horas. Thank you Fabio, thank you Peter, and you guys, we see you soon. Thank you, bye bye. Bye. bye.